Welcome back to part three of the Book One Cozy's Club chapter by chapter for still knife painting, the first book in the Paint and Shine mystery series by Cheryl Holland. I'm Di and these are my audio only reading vlogs for this book. Today I will be reading chapters 12 through 16 and sharing my thoughts with you along the way. Due to the nature of this reading vlog, there will be spoilers. So if you haven't read these chapters yet, I suggest that you not listen to this recording until you have. If you would prefer to hear my general thoughts on this book in its entirety, keep an eye out for my Book One Cozy's Club series first impressions video, which will be posted sometime after the reading vlogs for this book have commenced. So how is everybody doing this evening? I am doing well. Today I got my vacation for the end of the month approved, so I do have two weeks of vacation coming up. I tend to collect all of my vacation days and take them towards the last part of the year um, just because for me and my occupation the latter part of the year is the most stressful for my job in general so I need to start taking my vacation days because I also tend not to take my allotted vacation days and therefore they roll over and then I have more vacation days and I just can't get them used up. Um, I do work in a very small office. There are only four of us and so things are busy um, but comfortable most of the time. This year for some reason it's just been more stressful than usual. I've been in my particular job with my particular company <laughs> for quite a few years now and I don't remember the work being as stressful as it has been in the last six months. That being said, I am looking forward to taking an extended vacation from the office. I normally don't take more than a week here and there. so. Having a two week break from work is nice. It allows me to, you know, wind down completely and get my mind off the office. And I usually will only do this once a year, um, normally around Thanksgiving time, because in December is when my particular desk gears up and has the most work from the beginning of December to like the middle of January so yeah I'm looking forward to having a nice vacation plus it's vacation during the time the Olympics will be showing um, and so I'm really looking forward to being able to not only relax and not have to think about the work on my desk but also enjoying the Olympics and Staying up as late as I need to to watch them without having to worry about waking up early the next morning. So yeah, today has been pretty good. It is quite a bit warmer tonight than it was last night. Therefore, I do have the fan on. It just didn't get as cool tonight as it did last night. So I am facing away from the fan. Hopefully that noise isn't bothering or as loud as it is for me but yeah so today's chapters I am looking forward to getting some investigation in I always say this I'm very interested in our amateur sleuths investigative style because that really is a make it or break it for me and even though I haven't been too impressed with our main character the story itself has kept my interest, um, unlike the previous Book One Cozy's Club book, I don't feel like I don't want to read this book. Even though I did, even though I don't like our main character too much, I am finding what's going on around her entertaining with the 
one deputy that came and immediately like lost his lunch uh, because this is not the type of case he normally handles and then we get the sheriff and you know him kind of reprimanding the particular deputy that showed up first and his little banter with his wife who was the coroner about whether or not they need you know a bit of extra help on this particular case and now with how things ended in chapter 11 there's some history between the two sheriffs or I can't remember if the other officer is a sheriff but they definitely seem to know each other so I'm looking forward to finding out a little bit more about that maybe and so yeah I am going to dive into chapter 12 right now and I will be back with you in a bit. So I just finished chapter 16. I <laughs> am still not really enjoying our main character. Um, Miranda's investigative style definitely showed through in these chapters, but it was very interrogative, and that is not a style of investigating that I appreciate. Um, I just don't feel like she approached you know, asking her customers those questions in a suave <laughs> way. I think she could have found out what she wanted to know a little better. Um, it almost sounded accusatory at one point, and I didn't quite care for that. It was interesting to find out that the sheriff and the detective's history wasn't a good one. Um, high school rivals, after all of these years, they still seem to get on each other's nerves. I can understand why there's concern that the investigation won't be handled well. I don't know that it was such a great idea for Miranda to kind of fill Doris in. Doris? I think her name is, is Doris something. Um, the lady who was smoking. Uh, yeah, her name is Doris Ann. I don't know that that was such a great move because I feel like <laughs> she will just spread everything to everybody else. I mean, it already seems like the information has traveled fast and wide. And yeah, I don't know that it was such a great idea to kind of give more specifics, I guess, as to what happened to Doris Ann. But you know, we'll see what comes of that. It does sound like Miranda is going to continue with her adventure tours, which I'm interested to see how she does on this second tour after having a kind of d disastrous uh, first run. And uh, I am glad that she was able to secure Mrs. Hobbs' granddaughters to take care of the cooking and we'll be able to see maybe another one of her tours in the works and see how she intended for it to go the first time. Something I noticed about Miranda at the end of chapter 16 was I kind of feel like she was preening her own feathers. Like she was puffing herself up. Basically saying that you're good at this, you're good at this. And 
I don't particularly like characters that are like that either, so that kind of got on my nerves a little bit. I mean, I'm it's pretty obvious that I'm not really enjoying her at the moment. Um, and for a good portion of these chapters, I thought, okay, we've gotten past, you know, some of her more irritating behavior, or at least behavior that I was finding irritating. Um, but then, you know, she did her interrogation in the car, and then at the end of chapter 16, you know how she was kind of puffing herself up. I didn't care for that at all. But I do like her when she is in conversation with Austin. I feel like that's much more genuine. She doesn't irritate me at all when she's in conversation with him. So I don't know if she's just still uncomfortable with her business venture idea or if she needs that you know positive reinforcement of herself but it does give me hope that there are times where I don't find her as irritating as others I think if she had been irritating to me the entire time that would be a major turnoff for me on this but I'm still enjoying coming back to this book and reading a little bit more and finding out more about these characters. I'm still having a little bit of an issue um, with certain characters just because there have been so many that were thrown at us from the beginning. Um, but I think I'm starting to recognize more people. I mean, obviously, you heard me with Doris Ann. I couldn't remember what her second name was. And I knew it was Doris. I just couldn't remember the Ann portion. Um, but, yeah. I am looking forward to tomorrow's chapters and seeing how her next tour will go. I am actually surprised that uh, she has a tour scheduled the very next day. I didn't think that she'd have tours daily. I thought maybe they might be every other day or maybe on the weekends or something like that. Um, so it's interesting to me that she's she has these two particular ones scheduled back to back. We'll see if her schedule stays like that. But yeah, so far, even though there are things that have bothered me, I am enjoying what I've read so far. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens tomorrow. So let me know down in the comments below what you thought of these chapters. Do you find Miranda's investigative style not to your liking? Or do you like an amateur sleuth that has a more interrogative style when trying to obtain information. Also let me know what you think of Miranda's puffing herself up. I don't know how else to explain it, but yeah, puffing herself up at the end of chapter 16. Um, do you think it was just her trying to give herself some positive reinforcement? Or do you think that, you know, that's just how she is? She has to, like, give herself airs? <laughs> um, because, like I said in yesterday's section, I did find some of the things that she said there in those chapters to be very self-centered. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on Miranda as a character in general. Do you like characters that are like this? Do you not like characters that are like this. Also don't forget that you can not only talk to me in the comments below, but you can also talk to me in the Mystery Madness Goodreads group and our Discord. All of the links are down in the description box below. So I will be back with you tomorrow for chapters 17 through 21. And I hope you are all having a great evening. So I will talk to you later. Bye.